Hi, and welcome to another episode of Technology in 10, the show that explains technology in 10 minutes or less, or your money back. In this episode, we take a look at standard definition versus high definition. Hi and welcome. Of course, my name is Scott Ford, your geeky host through the world of technology. This episode, we're going to take a look at the difference between standard definition and high definition. You might have heard these terms SD and HD. Now, we're not going to take a look at audio on this one. We're just taking a look at what you see. And what inspired me to do this particular episode, well, I'll show you for myself. If you see this old video footage that I shot of me with an older camera, you'll notice it's kind of blurry, the lines are very clear, it has a very low resolution. Now, with the newer video, we had to get a new camera because we're shooting a lot more videos, and this one's shooting in HD. You'll notice that it's a little bit cleaner. You can see more details, which for me, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But we're talking here about resolution. That's ultimately what this kind of thing comes down to. With high definition, you have more resolution. Resolution is defined as the number of distinct pixels on your screen that can be displayed. Okay, so what are we talking about with pixels? Pixels is actually a combination of two words, picture and element. And it's a great combination of words because it tells us exactly what it is. It's the element that makes up pictures. These are the color dots that come together to display information for our eyes to receive. Now, over here, I have three paper towels laid out with M&Ms. We have peanut M&Ms, regular M&Ms, and the M&M minis. And you're going to notice that I can put more regular M&Ms on the paper towel than the peanut M&Ms. And I can put more mini M&Ms on the paper towel than I can with the regular M&Ms. I'm able to cram smaller and smaller M&Ms closer together and more of them. And so the image becomes clearer and it gets to a higher resolution. Now granted, I'm not an artist with M&Ms. In fact, I'm lucky to have this many left. As I was shooting this video, my two boys were in the back of the room and I've already had to divide up the M&Ms equally. So hopefully this comes out because we cannot reshoot the M&M things. But it gives you an idea of what we're talking about. The M&Ms in this case are pixels, they're color things, and the more of these color things we can put in the paper towel, the clearer the image is. Well, the more pixels we can put on your display, the clearer that image becomes. So SD, standard definition. The reason why we call this standard definition is because this is what we've grown accustomed to. When I was a young boy, I remember watching Creature Feature on an old black and white television, and that was in SD. HD is a newer standard and this is high definition, has more pixels per square inch than the older standard definitions. Standard HD or standard HD, standard, I guess I should put those two words together because it's kind of confusing. But the HD high definition standards are the 1280 by 720 as well as the 1920 by 1080. We just call these the 720 or the 1080. Now, you're watching this video on YouTube. If you look down at the YouTube bar where you find the play button as well as maybe the full screen, there is a little gear button. If you push in that little gear, you can change the quality of the video from HD 1080, HD 720, or standard definition 480. You might also notice that there's a little P next to each of these. We'll talk about what the little P means in just a second. No conversation about high def versus standard def would be complete without introducing two more concepts and they're not that difficult, we're almost done. The first concept is called aspect ratio, while the next concept is dealing with interlace versus progressive. First, we want to talk about aspect ratio. If you've ever bought a DVD, you might have noticed sometimes they come with the option of either full screen or widescreen. The full screen is the old fashioned standard. This is the box. This is the square standard, the four by three. This is the aspect ratio of your standard definition. What this means is that for, four inch, for every four inches wide, 
the screen has to be three inches tall. The wide screen, which you're used to seeing now with high definition, is 16 by 9. For every 16 inches wide, it has to be 9 inches tall. The last two things I want to talk about is interlace versus progressive. Now, our eyes are amazing organs, but they can be fooled pretty easily. If you've ever seen optical illusions, you know that we can trick our eyes. Well, movie theaters have been relying on tricking our eyes for years. When you go to the movies and see an action movie with people kickboxing and fighting and guns, you know, things blowing up, you're not actually seeing motion. What you're seeing is that the camera has captured moments of time. They've captured somebody running piece by piece by piece, but you're not actually seeing somebody running. What's happening is each of these images are flashed on the screen so quickly that it creates the illusion of movement. This illusion of movement is how TVs and computers and all these visual things work. With the older standard, we had something called interlace. And it took that individual picture and divided it up into different rows. And so it would draw the top row, skip, draw, skip, draw, skip, draw, skip. And before your eyes would notice it, it would go back and fill in the lines that it didn't fill in. This is pretty, pretty good for us. This is how things have worked for years. It does start to fall apart with high definition when you're looking at high action. It also falls apart when you're dealing with video games. The other way we can do things is called progressive. Progressive draws the entire image at once. And so you see the entire image. This is great for resolution. And this is also why you see the little P next to the quality choices when you're looking at videos online. So that's going to do it for our episode of Technology in 10. If you have any questions about the technology surrounding us, be sure to email me at mrford at mrfordsclass.net. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you learned something new as well as subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.